Hi guys, and welcome to another build video. And today, we are building one of these. Okay, so this is, as you can see, a submarine. It is actually a Seahund Type 27B or a B5 major submarine. It is by Bronco. It is in 135th scale. And the kit number is CB35053. Okay, this is uh, going to be quite an easy kit to build because it's literally just the hull, no interior, two uh, torpedoes. Okay, this was a German midget submarine used from 1944 onwards, two man crew, um, successful or not in operation. I think it's saying about nine ten ships that was about it for the loss of probably most of the fleet of these submarines so no not successful at all uh this kit does have sorry about that reflection a decent sized decal sheet and what you could call photo etch which is literally just the propeller blades for the uh, torpedoes on the front okay these are just the timing blades and the nameplate for the stand and that's it okay and let's get started so we'll get rid of the box up you have your decal sheet your color instructions two color sheets of the painting markings and this is the hull right so literally you've got four or five sprues in here and that's about it i have done a review of this so check it out i'll put a link in the description and um get all this cleared up and then we'll start building okay so first up is the two torpedoes these are g7e3 torpedoes okay designed later in the war um You'll notice that it has contra-rotating props, which allow the torpedo to uh, maintain its course. And, of course, you've got your warhead and your nose. This part here, these are the only PE parts that you like to use on the submarine itself. Um, they are the part of the arming detonation mechanism, these little vanes, and that little propeller there is the arming mechanism so that spins um, to a certain point as it and it drives a shaft which arms the torpedo well away from where the submarine is okay and then of course you've just got your vanes going on and um, these are access hatches and fittings for depth keeping etc um, g7e's if I remember rightly, ran at about two meters depth with a slightly nose up. Okay, so let's start and build these torpedoes.
Okay, so now we're at step three. Step three is where you need to make up a choice between having a standard type 27B or a 27B5. The differences are in the rudders. Okay, the B5 had a much simpler rudder. It also has a slightly different propeller boss. Okay, so that's just a couple of things. You do need to make holes in specific points for the different rudders. Okay, so, um, and the only other difference between a B, type 27B and a B5 is, this is a type 27B, notice the rudder. And this is a type 27B5, which is slightly different propeller fitting, simplified rudder, and these, which are extra fuel saddle tanks, which went on the side. I'm going to model a type 27B, which is the most common version of the Seehund, uh, which was manufactured. Okay, and... These are the hulls. Um, you will need to remove those. Okay. You don't necessarily have to, but this one, most most specifically this one. And I'll see if I can get this in focus for you. You can see them there. Right there. You use the knife, it's easier. Right there are the two holes. Okay, so forward hole is for the B okay which is the more complex rudder and the rear hole is for the simplified rudder okay so that's basically all you have to do to this hull clean out these okay and cut the holes and that's it all right so i'm going to get on with that carefully trim these off and sand them down and away we go
So a quick word on painting the Seahund. I'm going to prime the boat with this one, which is a German Panzer Grey from Vallejo, surface primer 74603. I'm also going to use this color for the um, torpedo warheads. Um, late in the war, they were steel, painted black and or dark gray. Um, I'm going to do a bit of pre-shading with another Vallejo primer, which is just their basic white, 74600. Once that's all dry, I'm going to paint the boat overall with this Vallejo color. This is sea gray, 71049. Okay, this will give me a reasonable grayish color. Once that's all done, I'm going to give it a overall wash with this. It is 76517. It is a dark gray uh, for gray and dark vehicles. This will be perfect for the Seahund. The torpedo will be all steel, including the propellers. Um, for the base, I'm using this Vallejo color, which is 77703 is one of their metal colors. It is dark aluminium. It gives a really nice shiny um, dark steel color. And for the propellers and other bits and pieces on the propellers, I'm going to use this one. It's steel 77712, also from Vallejo's metal color. Okay, and that's basically what I'm using. So um, fairly straightforward, fairly easy. And... Um, as for markings, I'm just going to go for some very simple, basic um, numbers. That's all I'm going to have. Okay, so let's get started. 